What's going on? Flipping houses like a ninja group. It is your man Daniel Weafi coming at you on a awesome Tuesday evening in the greatest city in the world, Las Vegas, Nevada. So I hope everybody is doing well. Hope uh, you guys are doing good in your business. Hope you're doing well in your household. I hope you're staying healthy, wealthy, and wise and making a lot of money out there and making some headway out there. So we're all in real estate because we want to make money, we want to build our dreams, and we want to secure our future for our kids and our families all around us. So as you guys come on board, uh, Dojo, uh, well, you guys aren't Dojo members. Most of you guys are just uh, flipping houses like a ninja group uh, people. But go ahead and uh, type in your name and let me know what is good, all right? And we will get on with this live. So... What's up, Dontriel, and what is up, William? All right. So look, you guys, uh, one thing that afflicts many, many new and aspiring wholesalers that want to get out there and make money is this one thing, and that is the fear or the apprehension of putting houses under contract with uh, sellers, okay? And I... I've been there, I've done that. How you doing, Maurice, still? What's up, William? I've been there, I've done that. We've all been new in this business. And the thing that we obviously need to realize is if we don't put properties under contract, then we're not going to make money, okay? So us putting properties under contract is one of the first steps in the funnel of us actually getting a deal engineered so that we can get money in our pocket, okay? And so, everybody wants money, just go ahead and type in money in the comments area. Just say, money, 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 all right? If y'all used to be a Cleveland Browns fan, if there are any Cleveland Browns fans, just say, money, 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 money. Um, he said, <laughs> Marie said, no, you cut your beard. Yeah, yeah, I cut the beard and I cut the mustache and I haven't seen my lip, Maurice, in like 20 years. And so I picked up my son, and my son said, you look different. He said, I said, what's different about me? He said, you cut your mustache. And I said, yeah, I did cut my mustache. And he said, he said, you look like you're 25 years old. And I said, thank you. And he said, no, I don't like it. And I said, you don't like it? He was like, yeah, it looks ugly. And I said, what, I'm ugly? And he's like, no, no, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that you look young. And uh, he had to go back on his words right there, but yeah, I cut the beard off, so I'll probably grow it nice and thick uh, during the winter time, Maurice. But anyways, back to real estate, you guys. I uh, bet you the missus don't like it. You know, she ain't uh, seen it yet. She ain't seen it yet, so we'll see how she likes it. So she's she's known me for about 17 years, Maurice, so uh, we'll see if she stays with uh, the fresh face we or if she leaves me for a bearded brother. But uh, <laughs> wouldn't that be a story, y'all? So look, don't be afraid of locking up properties under contract, okay? So many of you guys uh, who are new, you may be a little bit shaky or shady or a little bit fearful. You may think that, um, okay, well, I may not have the numbers right on this property. I you may not have the ARV right on it. I may not have the estimated repairs right on it. I may not be able to flip it or assign it out to a cash buyer. And thank you, thank you, thank you for the likes. And there's a lot of questions that can go on in our head, all right? And that scares us, all right? Because we're like, oh my God, what if I do this and I put the property on a contract and I have to go back and look like a fool? And uh, what's up, Jay Rashad? And... I look like a fool and I have to cancel the contract. We are very, very, very scared, right? And we're like, oh my God, I, I, I don't want to appear like a fool, all right? And thank you for the likes, Maurice. And look, don't worry about that. If you're looking at the deal, if you're looking at somebody's property and you've done your initial numbers and it looks like a deal, it smells like a deal, it talks like a deal, it walks like a deal, and it smells like a deal, then it probably is a deal. So I want you to go ahead and take your property sales agreement and I want you to lock that property under contract, okay? I want you to lock it up under contract. Use the property sales agreement that we have in the file section of this 
uh, luxurious Facebook group uh, that we've provided for free, okay? Because it has a loophole in there which states that this contract is subject to the approval of the buyer's partners, okay? Meaning that if you do need to cancel the contract for any reason, any shape, or any form, uh, you can do so, and you can state the reason is that uh, the contract was not approved by your uh, partner, okay? And your partner can be anybody, okay? So uh, don't be worried about that, okay? Lock it up on a uh, contract, okay? Because you need to be able to protect your interest in the property, you guys. If you guys aren't protecting your interest in the property, then what's going to happen is some other wholesaler who got some guts, who got some balls, all right, will lock up that property, okay? And you don't want some other wholesaler with bigger balls than you to come by and lock up that uh, property, okay? And, you know, woman, you know, you're not left out of this. Women have big balls too, okay? They can, somebody is going to go in and lock up that property under contract and take your money, all right? You do not want that to happen, okay? So make sure that you protect your interest, lock that property up under contract, okay? And what you'll do is if you are a little bit unsure about the numbers, you guys, uh, <laughs> Alex is cracking up. If you are a little bit unsure about the, um, about you being able to assign the contract to a cash buyer, you can let the, the seller know that up front. You can let them know that, uh, uh, okay, well, I have a few funny partners who may be interested in this deal. Uh, we do need to get this property on the contract and before I can actually show it to them, okay? Um, I'm about 80% or 70% sure that I'll be able to find somebody that can, uh, that will fund the property, okay? And so what I'll do, Mr. Seller, Mrs. Seller, is I will keep you updated, and thank you for the love, Alex. I will keep you updated on a weekly basis of what's going on with my funding partners, and uh, we'll go from there, okay? But basically what you guys want to do is, um, right up at the front, you want to set their expectations of uh, what may or may not happen. That way, if you do have to go back to the uh, to the seller and cancel the contract, it's not weird. And if you have to go back and renegotiate, it's not weird either. Because a lot of things can happen in the time frame of two, three, four weeks. Okay, in the time frame of two, three, four weeks, you guys, the seller may have a change of heart and decide that okay, well, maybe I do, maybe I do need to uh, go down on my price, okay? That funnier of things have, have happened, you guys. And uh, Maurice still asked a great question. He asked, when you lock it up, do you go to the title company or the closing attorney? I would only go to the closing attorney or the title uh, company, Maurice, if I'm very, very for sure that this deal is gonna close and that I have a buyer that's uh, ready to roll. But if I get a property under contract and I'm a little bit skittish, I'm a little bit nervous, I'm a little bit, you know, got a big old huge question mark over my head, right? Um, I'm not going to start escrow, okay? So I'm just going to let it sit and let it chill. And then when I do find a buyer for that property, Maurice, then I'll take the prop, the uh, agreements, the contracts, and I'll take it and start escrow at the title company, okay? But uh, you guys, again... When in doubt, go ahead and lock up your properties under contract. You always have got to protect your interests, okay? Protect your interests because if you don't protect your interests and you don't get these properties locked up under contract, some other wholesaler who has bigger balls than you is going to come out there and take your deal, take your money, okay? You have to look at yourself and have the balls to go to the walls and get your properties on the contract. Don't be scared. Don't be fearful. Don't be apprehensive. Just go out there and do it, okay? Because if you're not going to put properties on the contract, then you're really shooting yourself in the foot and you're not going to be able to get out there and make money. So anyways, hope this helps somebody. If uh, you guys are looking for a mentor, you need some help uh, flipping houses, mentoring, uh, in, you need mentoring. Is that even a word? But if you need mentorship, make sure you check us out at houseflippingdojo.com. Houseflippingdojo.com. Peace and God bless y'all.